Event by event, the Met investigation ploughs on. Yet again, dozens more fixed penalty notices for Downing Street staff who attended a Christmas party in number 10. It brings the total of fines issued to more than 100, with several more events still to be dealt with. Are you shocked at the scale of law breaking in number 10, Prime Minister? How could you let that happen under your watch? Sure, we have plenty to say about that when the thing's finished. 100 fines, Mr Dowden. What went wrong in Boris... Oh, dodging the question, are you? The Prime Minister had brought Cabinet members to Stoke-on-Trent for an away day meeting. Boris Johnson himself wasn't at the Christmas party in December 2020 and wasn't fined. And isn't it fantastic to be here in Stoke? Yes. Yes. The Met's approach so far looks to some like it could spell more fines ahead for him. There isn't much that distinguishes them from, from these. So we could be seeing you know, a, a very significant amount more fixed penalty notices, including up to another four for the Prime Minister. The law says that if, if you receive a second fixed penalty notice or a third fixed penalty notice up to a sixth, then the, the amount keeps going up and up. Um, so what it will mean is for someone like the Prime Minister, who could potentially end up with five, if he's getting them in sequence, the, the final ones could end up being many thousands of pounds. Some civil servants who have been fined feel they could end up suffering more consequences than the Prime Minister. They have no confidence that actually the accountability that they're going to have to face for their actions, and rightly face for their actions, which everyone... Could disciplinary action. Which could include disciplinary action. Is anyone get confidence that the Prime Minister or other ministers would be held similarly to account for their conduct? And there was incoming for the Tory High Command from another direction. The New York Times alleging that the man Boris Johnson was to make treasurer of the Tory party had secretly funnelled hundreds of thousands of pounds into the Conservative Party, which, the New York Times alleges, originated in the Russian account of a pro-Kremlin businessman. The New York Times says documents it's seen suggest the money came from Sergei Kopitov, a former pro-Kremlin politician who is Sir Ehud Shelig's father-in-law. A lawyer for Sir Ehud Shelik said there was absolutely no basis for suggesting that what was a gift for Sir Ehud's wife was intended as or for the purpose of making a political donation to the Conservative Party. As the leader of the Conservative When Boris Johnson won the Tory leadership, Sir Ehud Shelig was watching proceedings and he served as party treasurer for the first two years of Boris Johnson's leadership. What's your response to allegations in the New York Times that a Conservative Party took donations from a donor with links to Russia, uh, Ehud Shelek, I believe, and money linked to a Russian bank account? Well, all, all, all our donations are registered in the, in the normal way. And uh, you, 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 to give donations to a political party in this country, uh, you've got to be from the UK. In total, Sir Ehud donated nearly £4 million to the Tory party, £1.2 million during Boris Johnson's leadership. <coughs> you were on me. Labour MP Stephen Kinnock yes, wrote um, to the then Tory party chairman a year after the donation was made. Here's, here's your original letter, 2019, to the Tory party chairman, raising a lot of questions about Mr Shelley. And uh, the Conservative Party chairman, then Brandon Lewis, writes back saying, you risk libel. Yes, I, I thought that was disgraceful. If you have somebody that's got close connections to a hostile foreign state, uh, paying large amounts of money to the Conservative Party, the party of government. That should raise concerns with us all. And yet Mr Lewis chose to dismiss my concerns uh, and to threaten me with libel, which is frankly the kind of uh, tactics that Russian oligarchs have used uh, to stop people looking into their affairs. The Conservative Party said it only accepts donations from permissible sources. The Electoral Commission said it was considering the New York Times report, but didn't currently have an investigation open on it.